The delicate toil of the needle, stitching together something beautiful and mesmerizing, creating an artwork that is not just stunning and striking, but also one that tells a story, the story of a nation, of their art and culture. A story that will be retold again and again for all of eternity. This is the art of Marile Duzi. This delicate artwork needs a lot of patience and precision. Sometimes it takes days or even weeks for a work like this to be completed. But in today's modern and busy lifestyle, there are still people who love to learn more about the rich history of this art and create works that are inspired by many and many years of rich culture, history, art and civilization. Maryam Sammok has dedicated most of her life to this art, researching and studying as well as teaching its history and technique to students in college. In Iran, we have 120 types of embroidery with more than 1,500 subcategories. Mali Leduzi, otherwise known as Ser Meduzi, is just one of them. من سعی کردم این هنر رو به نحوی اشاره بدم در قبلا هنرستان که تدریس می کردم الان دانشگاه این رشته رو کار می کنیم با دانشجوها به روز رسانیش کردیم روی لباس ها و خصوصا مانتو کار کردیم چون اکثرا جوون ها عبا دارن که بیان روی لباس کار کنن ولی ما با نقوش مدرن و اصالتا ایرانی مثل ترهای کاشیکاری و اینها اومدیم روی مانتو just like any other craft, Malile Duzi requires its own special tools and pieces. Different types of thin wire, beads, pearls and fabrics like velvet and cashmere. First, silk is attached to the back of the fabric, then the design is transferred with carbon paper. After that, the design is first stitched all over with a white thread. Then the fabric is attached to the hoop, and it's here that the actual work begins. The design is covered with different types of sewing stitches and decorated with other glittery materials. When the work is done, glue is applied to the back to protect it from harm. Mali Leduzi has a very long history in Ivan. This art dates back to more than 3,000 years ago, when it decorated and adorned the clothing of kings and those of the court. Back then, very thin gold and silver wires were stitched on valuable fabrics, and so it was an art that basically belonged to the wealthy. In this art, designs are mostly inspired by ancient Persian motifs, which have their own special meaning and are usually used as symbolic forms. Nature is also a source of inspiration, and artists have used the shapes of birds, flowers and trees to complete their designs. خودم به شخص وقتی سرمه دوزی میکنم چون پارچه هاش کاملا اصالتا ایرانیه و در واقع ترهاش هم ایرانیه یه حس خوبی به هم میده و اون در واقع زرق و برقی در کار هست اون تلعلوی که هست نورانیتی که در واقع به کار میده در واقع من رو وادار میکنه که شاید ساعتها وقت بذارم روی این کاری که دارم انجام میدم what was once a very expensive artwork has turned into a slightly cheaper craft. Today, gold and silver threads and wires are not so common anymore and they're replaced with cheaper materials so people have the opportunity to buy them and use them in their homes. Nowadays, this artwork is used to adorn tablecloths, curtains, prayer rugs and cushions. As I've just realized, there's so much possibility in this kind of artwork because just now Mrs. Samark told me that you can also combine it with different kind of materials and different kinds of embroidery to create magnificent and sparkly artworks. Shaheen Ibrahim Zadeh Pezeshki is an artist who has done everything she can to save this art from extinction. 
from studying its various forms and techniques from up close in different regions of Iran to introducing it as an academic course in college. با توجه به شرایط زندگی که تغییر کرده انتقال این هنر در واقع مسدود شده بود و خیلی ها علاقه من بودن به این هنر ولی استادکاران کمی بودن که میتونستن این هنر رو به اون شیوه قدمایی خودش آموزش بدن به همین خاطر تلاش من این بود که تمام تجربیاتی که سالیان سال یعنی شاید بگیم هزاران سال از نسلی به نسل دیگه منتقل شده بود تمام تلاشم رو کردم که اون رو در واقع انتقال بدم که بتونم یک هنر رو از ورطه فراموشی و از فرده نابودی در واقع نگه. میشه بعدم میتونم که همینا در روز بارها بتونم تماشاش بکنم تو عمق این هنر برم لذتش رو برم هنری که هزاران سال پیشینه داره و به دست زنان ما از نسلی به نسلی دیگه رسیده این هنر رو نمیتونی شما خیلی بهش ساده نگاه کنی و ازش ساده بگذاری چون که هر سوزنی که روی پارچه خورده و نقشی رو روی پارچه پدید آورده در واقع انگار زمیر ناخداگاه یک زن رو بیان کرده و احساسی رو که اون زن پای دوختش به ودیعه گذاشته و به پارچه سپرده اون حسیه که من فکر میکنم که فقط وقتی عاشق باشه میتونی اون حس رو درک کنیم Stitch by Stitch The creation of a masterpiece that has carried forward the legacy and traditions of its maker an artwork that has so many secrets hidden inside. In every thread and in every knot lies moments of happiness or despair, uttered silently by its creator. Hodalizgi for Iran.